Temperatures this low aren't just dangerous, they can be deadly, especially for those living on the streets. Now, all across the state and here in Anchorage, teams from nonprofit agencies are looking for homeless people. It's part of the annual Point in Time Count, an effort to total up the number of people who do not have permanent housing. Rebecca Palsha joins us now with the details on that effort. Rebecca? Mike, pets, drugs, and lost jobs, some of the things keeping people from finding permanent housing in Anchorage. And in Anchorage, and nationally, the homeless population has increased. Here's a look at the counts in Anchorage. The, the thing is, when you're cute, oh, she's so soft. it's easy for people to notice. She was the cat that started it all. Lua Leah and the four other cats here are the reason we met Natisha Frazier. I have cats, and I'm not getting rid of my cats. <laughs> so, um, you know, like, that's my thing. That's one thing keeping her out of permanent housing, and instead living here at the homeless camp at Cuddy Park. A place doesn't want to rent to somebody that has an eviction in your history. Today is the point in time count. This is a HUD mandated count that happens every year. Everyone in the United States uh, is going to be performing a count of people experiencing homelessness in their community. And how long have you been living on the streets or in emergency shelters? Homelessness surged to the highest level on record according to the federal government. The annual headcount last year showed a 12% increase from 2022. The total count nationwide topped 600,000. How many times have you been homeless in the last three years? All the time. All the time. And like the rest of the United States, Anchorage is also seeing more people experiencing homelessness. In 2023, more than 1,700 people were counted in the single January day. I think that unsheltered, I think we're going to see about the same. This year, there's an Anchorage-specific question. Do you want to share the reasons or the factors that you feel contributed to your homelessness? No. Okay. As well as Anchorage-specific problems. What we have seen a lot of is people getting the early stages of, of frostbite injuries. Mia Moore! Count Frazier in this year's numbers. What are you doing, Mia? Hey! Of the unsheltered. And homeless people living in temporary shelters were counted last night. Those conducting the effort concede it's far from a perfect count, and the final point-in-time numbers won't be announced until April.